Hey guys, I wanted to read you guys a fun story today called Touch and Explore the Ocean. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to touch it, but I thought I would make it fun by adding some real pictures of these sea creatures to the video. You know, in our classroom, we like to watch the under the sea videos during our quiet calm down time. And we enjoy looking at all the different sea creatures and asking questions about them. So I thought you guys would enjoy this book and some really cool pictures. All right, let's get started. It is called Touch and Explore the Ocean. It is by Stephanie Babin and illustrated by Natalie Chow. All right. We are some of the little fish in the big ocean. I am a lionfish. And I am a blue tang surgeon fish. Me, I'm a blowfish. Can you see why? Our home is underwater. Who is hiding inside the sea anemone? Is it? It's me, a clownfish. The sea anemone's stinging tentacles protect me from being eaten up. I give the anemone some of my food to say thank you. We are born in tiny eggs. Glub glub, I am a bream. Fins and tail for steering, gills to breathe underwater, and scales cover my entire body. Touch my hard, shiny scales. My scales protect me. My fins help me steer and move in my saltwater home. I love to swim in huge groups of fish called schools. The mischievous octopus. If I'm attacked, I will squirt ink and then I'll hide under a rock. So the octopus is squirting ink at the eel. The squid and cuttlefish squirt ink just like me. Squid and cuttlefish. Do you think I am red? It looks pretty red to me. Surprise! I can change color when I want to hide. Now he looks brown. Ink sac inside my head, suction cups that stick, eight arms also called tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With my long tentacles and suction cups, I can catch crabs, fish, shrimp, and lobsters. Yum! Do I look soft and limp? No way, I have super strong muscles. Shark alert! We have a hammerhead shark, a saw shark, a leopard shark, and a carpet shark. Do you think our names match how we look? Yep, I think so. I am a gray shark. A fin to help me balance. Touch my rough skin. Wide curved tail, long fins, and gills to breathe. The remora fish follows me everywhere. Some people think I will bite anything that comes near my teeth. Like most animals, I only eat when I am hungry. The manta ray. Underwater dancer. You need to look underneath me to see my mouth. I am strong and can jump high out of the water. When we swoop and swim, it looks like we are dancing in the water. I am an electric ray. Beware, I can really give you a shock. I am a manta ray. Two horn-like fins for eating and swimming. Two big fins. 
Gently touch my soft, fragile skin. Long, thin tail. My flat body helps me swim all the way to the bottom of the ocean. When I spread out my fins, it looks like I am flying underwater. The turtle, this is Miss Morton's favorite. The turtle, an amazing swimmer. I am a leatherback sea turtle. The biggest turtle of all. I'm probably twice as big as you. To find the right place to lay my eggs, I will swim a very, very long way. Dig, dig, dig. I use my legs to make a hole in the sand that's big enough for all my eggs. Crick, crack. I am a baby turtle, breaking open my shell. We quickly scramble into the water so no birds will eat us. Touch my hard shell. It protects my skin and body. Strong beak, teeth strong enough to crush a crab. On the sand, I move slowly, but in the water, I am a terrific swimmer. In the ocean, you can also find, do we look like plants? We are really many small animals hooked together. We are called coral. I am a jellyfish. Be careful, I can sting. Don't touch me, I am a spiky sea urchin. I am a starfish. I am a seahorse. I have huge pincer claws. I am a lobster. I have eight legs and two claws. I am a crab. Touch my soft feathers before I dive down to catch a fish. This is the pelican. He says, thank you for visiting our underwater home. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.